found the magical bag. The bag with Hocus Pocus. It's magic. Nothing inside the bag. You go Abracadabra, Simboomba. It's a pig. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. We're back in Huntington Beach. We're at my favorite local Goodwill, Magnolia Adams. This one is the best. The people are lovely. They always have good stuff. Let's find a place to park. We just pulled up to Goodwill. This is my parents' stomping ground. We're in Huntington Beach. We're at Magnolia Adams location. It's really great. I love this one. I think you've seen me here a couple of times with my dad and mum. And rumor has it that they're going to be joining us in a little while. So we're going to go in and see what they have. Let's, Let's go. go thrifting. Woohoo! Zuby's Dry Dock, yeah, it's, it's, really cute. it's fun in there. They have good steak and pizza and seafood, California cuisine. So, adventure awaits inside. It's, to grab that <laughs> lucky cart, here we go. We'll see about that. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna do that one. I'll start on the green over here. I like to do the end caps first because it's where they put the items that they think are the most valuable. I'm liking this green vase, although I know it's modern. It's really quite fun. It's super ah. heavy though, and $9.99. This is, looks like a whole set of Metlock's uh, Poppy Trail Ivy. It's made in California. Would do all right. I just, with our full car, I just don't think it's good use of space. <laughs> Ooh, look at this um, Talavera. Saucer, El Palomar, Mexico. I'm going to put this in the cart and hopefully I'll be able to find the cup that goes with it. Let's see if there's any more back here. Nope. So yeah, I'm going to grab that. We'll look in the mugs to see if by any lucky chance the cup is there. I see this one is a Brody. It is the emerald green crinkle vase. It's $4.99. You know me, I can't say no to this green crinkly glass. Let's put that in the cart too. The shelves are packed. Let's see what's on the brown end cap here. Ooh, that's quite a fun gold jewelry hanging tree. That might be good for Danny's live sales. I'll leave that there for her. Let's see. Ooh, this is Reuven. You see the pink with the purple and yellow, almost like a drip. The high firing temperature gives it that effect. It looks like the stop is a little bit cracked there, but I'm going to take it anyway for $2.99. It will be fine with or without the stopper. This is a pretty piece of glass. It looks like it's Amberina. Let's get him out the way. Let's see. It's $4.99. Oh, it's flashed. And I don't know if you can see that through the camera, but the red flash paint is c 
coming off there, sadly. So we'll leave that. It's a little bunny back here. He's $2, but I have to be good. I'm trying to stick to my $20 profit rule. Oh, that's a vase back there. I'll come back to that in a second. It's quite a nice little square bowl, basket weave pattern. But again, profit margin isn't there on that. Let's take a look at this. I love the colors of a brown glaze with a peachy pattern on there. It's $4.99. It's pottery. It's got a nice quality to it. Good weight. We'll take that. Anything else on here? Oh, there's the mugs. That's this little pottery. No, that's really lightweight. Here's the blue end cap. Glasses, a swan, vases. Ooh, look at this lovely, lovely piece of glass here. This is a piece of Viking. Beautifully made, high quality, really heavy. No chips or cracks. It's only $3.99. Goodness, I can't get this in my cart fast enough. That is just gorgeous. Really carefully put that down there. Look at the symmetry of that. It's wonderful. Anything else on the blue? Some modern vases and bowls here. That purple is quite fun. But it's just not ever such good quality. That's flashed on the inside. And that's also modern, I can tell by the way. This looks like Talavera, but it is Carabella, a modern piece. And this is fun, although we really don't need any large pieces like this at the booth. We're short on room and not a big fan of shipping humongous platters. Very heavy and quite breakable. This is Pacific Breeze, New Zealand. I really like it, but I have to say no. And the purples and the pinks. It's quite a pretty vase, but it's modern. Humongous Easter egg cookie jar. What's this? Will service for one teacup. I'm gonna pass on that. All the pieces are priced separately. Gravy boat. A little bunny and some lettuce here. I'm checking for Fitz and Floyd. I can tell by the look and weight of that that that's made in China. This is the red Christmassy aisle over here. A menorah. It's a target piece, a bit damaged. It's a fun Christmas bits. We've put a lot of Christmassy stuff here on the white uh, end cap too. It's an angel. Looks like a reproduction of a older piece and her wing is chipped. These look like they could be great little mushroom caps and I think orange is half off. So let's grab these and see what Danny thinks. 
Not much else in the whites. What's over here? Oh, this looks like a Halloween. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I think I have to put you down a second. Is it a planter or is it for candy outside the door? It's so great, just skeleton legs. And I think that says five ninety nine. What a deal. How am I gonna get this in the cart? Just scooch some stuff over. <laughs> sit there just a second and I'll have to rearrange a bit. Oh, look at this. It's very new with tags, but he's fun. It's a Dracula jack-o'-lantern. I just want you to get a sense of the store. It's quite big. It's really nicely arranged. They've got the end caps and then they've got stuff just packed on the shelves. It's not ever so organized, which I kind of like because it adds to the treasure hunt. You just never know what you're going to find on each aisle. But uh, this one looks like glass and vases mostly. Look at this. Not that, this. I think we're going to find that this is uranium glass and it glows under my black light. If I can just find it in my purse, oh, it does. And it's got peacocks on it too. It's funny because we needed some more uranium glass. A fellow came um, to our booth last, um, last uh, sale and bought our entire collection of uranium glass. So now we have this piece to put in our case for sale. Very carefully pop it on there on top of the Viking. There we go. That is gorgeous. I'm going to have a bit of a hard time letting that go. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything else here. This little purple bottle caught my eye. It's quite interesting. It looks like it's blown glass. It's $3.99. I'm really not familiar with the maker, so I'm going to pop it in my cart and think about it. Try to look it up on eBay sold to see if I can find what it is. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This is a little yellow candle holder, probably Avon. It's a little Rolodex there, grill wipes. There's just a little bit of everything in this aisle. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, this lady is fun but very lightweight and not good quality. That's the Eiffel Tower. Let's see what's on this side. Some Christmas stuff. Ooh, look at this bowl. It's got pears on it. It's got a good weight. It's quite a nice design. I wonder who makes that. I'm not familiar. I think I'm going to pop this in my cart too. See if I can find out who makes that. Possibly California pottery. This is an interesting little candle holder here. This is possibly Mexican pottery. 
It's a little bit chipped up and unfortunately there's only one of them. But I'm going to pop this in my cart on the off chance that I'm going to find a matching one. Because I know that this would do much better as a pair. Set it there so I don't forget. I don't think that goes with it. I think it's meant for a taper. Let's pop this back. Praying hands always do well for me. They're part of the serenity prayer. This little plaque will probably sell very quickly. It's only $2. There's Tiffany up here over here. Hello. Where did you find it? Hey, what did you find, me. Danny? I found I'm creeping. I I'm found creeping. plushy friends. Look, I found a... <gasps> Look at the platypus. Right? Have you ever, ever no. seen a duck-billed platypus? He's really cool. amazing. And then I found his friend, the opossum. <laughs> And then his other friend, the Lion King. Um, Puma. Who? That's his name. Okay. I was just singing a song. Puma Batata. <laughs> and you found a. And a, uh, I'm sure there's a, I don't know which one. It's a My Little Pony. And this. My Little Pony. Is a pure one. <gasps> Eeyore. Is it Eeyore? Kind of eeyore -y. He's a donkey. That works. Or a zebra. Nice. <laughs> Great. I love these end caps. They seem to put all the good stuff on the end caps. What is this? You know what that Sophistry. mark is? Oh, okay. Formalities, maybe? All right. Well, here we have some dinosaur planters in various colors. And ooh, look at this little purse. It's not as good quality as I thought. This is nice too, a little shell box with some abalone inlay. I like that for two dollars. Set that in there. Let's check out this end cap as well. Some clear glass, vases and cups, candlesticks. This snake venom. Ooh, that's interesting. It's a modern Halloween decoration. We're moving into the dishes and bowls, plates and glasses, mugs and cups. The shelves are just absolutely packed, but I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find the matching cup or mug for my Talavera saucer. It's possibly hiding somewhere on these packed shelves. I'm assuming it's going to be white with a matching green bird and brown and green stripes. This is a really cute doggy mug. Doggies look so happy and snooty. <laughs> I'm not really sure of the maker and unfortunately it's missing its travel lid. But it's just so cute. I'm going to pop it in the cart and see if I can find a lid somewhere. Just having a look through all these mugs for that Talavera and whatever else catches my eye. I do like the way they hang the mugs like this. You can easily see the bottoms of them. And if there's no price sticker, you can see the brand. <laughs> Sometimes they will put them on the side of the mug, but still, a lot of times it's over the brand on the bottom. Really not seeing anything else here. Let's check the bottom shelf. Glasses just go on for days over here. I have a set of these at home. That one's $2.99. I'm used to paying 69 cents for glasses at 
My favorite Goodwill in Vegas. That one's going to stay here. On the other side of the sile is all the plates and dishes and bowls. This is a really pretty iridescent, almost carnival glass bowl. Just don't need another one though. I have one of those at home and they don't sell too well. These look like Pier 1. Yes, they are $3.99 a piece. Pier 1 pieces are often sought after because the Pier 1 stores are no longer open. You can only get their items online. But I'm not a fan of shipping plates. It has to be something really quite special before I want to ship a plate. <laughs> Not my favorite thing, so I'm going to leave those for somebody else. I'm just having a scan through mostly, oh, these are temptations, possibly, or a temptations look-alike. I'm scanning mostly for uranium glass, which I will pick up because it's very trendy at the moment, very popular, and it does sell for a good price. These are interesting. I thought they were Villaroy and Bach, but they are Farberware, so I'm going to leave those. Let's take a look to see if there's anything else. This looks like a fun aisle. Appliances. I'm seeing some teapots. Oh, this one has a cat under a tablecloth. But sadly, his little nose is chipped. Otherwise, I really quite like the design. It's a modern piece. It has a barcode, but sad he's chipped. I'm going to leave him. This is a Gorham Bunny music box. Uh, $4.99. I do like him, and I think I'm going to grab him and put him in my cart. Because I'm not really sure how quickly he would sell. Um, so I need to check the eBay solds and the comps to tell me whether he's worth picking up. He's in good condition with his original sticker. Let's see if he works. Here. Ooh, this looks like a Haviland Limoges piece. It's a blue pattern. They also come in pink, I think. This is $15. And uh, that just doesn't work for me for resale. So I'll leave that. Over here is a very large turkey platter. I just want to see out of interest who makes him. Oh, he's really heavy. Oh, it's a very modern piece. I'm going to leave that for somebody else. Quite nice little rice balls there. I'm going to grab my bunny so I don't forget him. Pop him in the cart and then I will check the comps. See if there's anything worth looking at down here. What's this? That's a huge California pottery leaf platter. It's really nice, except it has a massive chip on one end, and it looks like a new chip, and that makes me very sad. Oh no. But for that chip, I would probably have brought that home with me. Anything else here? Not really sure what those are. Almost look like purse handles. But they are modern, they're not Bakelite. Little box of cards here. I'm always on the lookout for thank you cards for a good deal because I like to include them with my eBay sales, my Poshmark sales and my direct sales. I think orange tags are half off, but uh, I'm not seeing a price there. There's a few thank you cards, but 
Mm, I'm going to put the lid on, pop it in the cart, and think about those. Let's have one more check back along this aisle for anything I might have missed. This is very sad. I just found the sweetest little salt and pepper pea pod set, but it's missing the pepper. Here's a happy face. $3.99. I'm going to pick this up. It's a sweet little bird creamer, not marked. Don't see the sugar anywhere. Some happy face cups. I thought they were glass, but they're actually plastic, so I'm going to pass on those. They're a bit scratched up. Let's see if anything else in the yellow that Danny missed. Some little duck bank here. It's another aisle. This is metals and tins. This is a really nice tray. Let's see, that is, what does that say? Arthur Court, 1991. It's very Christmassy. So I'm gonna look at this little box. I actually have a television stand in a very similar pattern to this, but sadly this is very cracked on top. Might come back for that tray in just a second. See what these are. Ooh, these look like little candle holders or sconces. Not really sure how they attach to the wall though because they don't have a hook or a ring. I'll leave those. This looks like uh, Dr. Seuss little flowers on the shelf. It's a little mirrored tray there. Not very good quality. I'll leave that. Just having a look for anything else. There's some candle holders, they're a bit worse for wear. Boxes, and trays and metal holders and wire holders, a wine rack, fruit baskets, all sorts of things. You can find just about anything at Goodwill. Not really sure what those are, maybe Oh, they're actually decorative wall hangings. There's a pair of those. Sadly, those are scratched up. Lots of toys. Lots of plush. Let's check this end cap. Some glass. Glass bowls. Some toys have spilled over onto this one. The punch ball set. Let's see if we can find any plush here. A little bunny. And a cute little mole. I wonder what he's from. He looks familiar to me. Not really sure. If anybody knows who that little mole is, what he's from, let me know in the comments. This is the plastic aisle. All colors and shapes and sizes of plastics and bowls and travel mugs. Little Santa mug there. Not plastic. Oh, sorry, go ahead. They just wheeled out a new cart and it's absolutely stacked. And it's a bit difficult to see what they have because here in California, apparently they use these big bins 
Whereas in Vegas, they wheel them out either in laundry baskets on a rack or my favorite way is actually a rack with shelves so you can see exactly what they have. This is Francis of Assisi. He's the patron saint of animals and the environment in the Catholic Church. I'm going to look him up and see what he sells for. See if we can see anything else interesting on top here. There's a lot of precariously placed mugs, so I'm not going to do much digging. A book on JFK. Actually, it's in a little bit of uh, rough shape, but I'm going to look it up to see if it's worth picking up. I can't really see anything else worth grabbing. Holly's Pies mug. Not sure what that is, but can't get to it. So we'll have to wait for them to put everything out on the shelves. Let's take a little wander down and make sure we've covered all of the aisles. I'm not sure we went down this one, did we? Let's see. What did you find? I think I found my costume. <laughs> I think I'm going to be a jellyfish. Jellyfish. I love it. I love it. It's too. you, it's you. I got to get. I just heard my father's laugh. There he is. I heard you laughing over there. <laughs> I think it's a dead skull. They're hand, they're hand done, aren't they? Oh, this one's dead. Oh, okay. I found this. Well, that's for the candy at the door, huh? Yeah, or the plant. What'd you do with Mum? Right behind you. There she Hello. is. Hello. 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 Oh, you got your cart full already. You already filled my car. We're going to have to strap you on top. Okay, how much do you think this 360-degree wooden display is? It's not fabulous quality. It's not. And it's got a few chips. But let's see if we can find the price. I'll find it for you. Mum, can you see the price? Oh, no. It plugs in, so that means there's, there's lights. That's a plug. I think it's over here, is it? Oh, here it is. I got it. Have a guess. I'm going to guess. Yes. Um, I'll say 69. 69? 99. I can only see one price tag, so I'm going to assume it's for both pieces. But there's two pieces? Oh. No, you're right. It's just one, oh, just one piece. 1999. 1999? No. $20. 1999. Can we fit it? You might have to be strapped on top. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, they give you some size. Oh, they're massive. Look at Danny compared to them. Oh my goodness, what are they? Are they just displays? <gasps> they're heavy. Oh my goodness, how much? I don't know because I can't. I can't lean it over. <laughs> oh. We'll have to explore for a Look at them. That's some... Um, pocus. Better a collection basket. Oh, I Did thought you? it was for the Shriners or something. No, hocus pocus. Nothing <laughs> there, nothing here. Abracadabra, abracadabra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do that again. Fine, Grandpa. We found the magical bag. The bag with hocus pocus. It's magic. Nothing inside the bag. You go abracadabra, simbumba. It's a pig. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. It's gone. 
Step aside, Chris Angel. <laughs> wow. Oh. I think we have to have that. Who's conscious this? Danny, is this you? What did you, what did you find? Oh, I just had a kitty in the oh. Sweet. Oh my goodness. They're so sweet. He's saying, Can I steal your milk? Right? And the kitty says, Let's share. Maybe. And then I'll <laughs> eat you. <laughs> no, just you guys kidding. Getting those? Oh, sorry. <gasps> oh, my bestie. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys getting those? You can't even move, right? I just found a gold paper bag. Look at this. I think it's a vintage one. It's $2.99. It's all gold. That's fantastic. I love it. In the car, you go carefully. Now, I'm on a quest to find the matching cup that goes to this Talavera saucer. Ooh, what are these? Squirrel. Seem to be marked. This is California pottery. Is that a pumpkin there? Let's see. These are three ninety nine a piece. Seeing here a piece of Pyrex, but it's plain and it's really bashed about, sadly. This looks like something up here. Hold on a minute, what's that? Some snowmen. This is possibly here one. I thought so. What's this? Oh, look at these sunflowers. That's a lovely piece. Look at that. How much is it? It's $5.99, but that's a really nice piece. Snowflakes. Snowman. This is a really fun, sort of modern atomic mirror. Christian Robinson for Target. I love it. It's so fun. It's brand new. It's $23, but it's half off green. I'm going to get it. Snowman. What you do? What you got? Where's your card? I think these are vintage. I think these are vintage Halloween. The the honeycomb. These guys. <gasps> Ooh. A whole bag of them. Nice. Yeah. We just got photo wow. bombed by Grandpa. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is for my tree. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a spooky tree. Oh, fun. Yay. I just saw this on the shelf and I think my little seven-year-old Jake would love it. <laughs> they just wheeled out another cart. This one isn't as chock full, so you can actually see what's in it. There's some stands there, photo, um, photo or picture or plate stands I'm gonna grab in a second. Uh, I'm just gonna see if there's anything else I might want. It's quite a nice silk oh, right. orchid here, but often these are falling apart at the bottom. The leaves sort of uh, rot away, and I think that's the case with this one. So sadly, I think we're going to leave it. What's this? Oh, I like these. This would be fun for the new house. Yeah, this is a good one. I really like that. Nice to put in little skinny wall spaces. To remember to be grateful 
and appreciative for everything we have. Some little um, holders right there if we need more. Okie dokie, artichokey. <laughs> We need more. We might, if the price is right. Two dollars. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Are those skulls, that baking sheet? No. Nope. Snowman, Snowman and stockings. Not quite as good. So I think we're ready. This is my cart here and there's Danny's cart and we're getting those two really super heavy what did you say they were chimeneas the chimeneas yeah the chimeneas the snowman and the Santa and also that lovely 360 degree curio cabinet Danny's checking out here that's her cart we're creeping it looked worse than it was because of that chair. Hi. Hi. What did you find? I found this skull. I thought you might like it. Oh, it's Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead skull. That's yeah, great. It's, it's got a bird on it. Look, can we see the top? I didn't text Jamie. That's great. Yes, I'd love it. There's nothing underneath. Yeah, it's great. Perfect. Um, pop it in my car. Pop it in your car. Right. What's this? We found a little robin on a nest. That's sweet. A little candle, I think. Yeah. Little angel. She's nice. And grandpa's. Grandpa's magic trick. Magic trick and some push pins for. Push pins for Miley. Miley. Yep. And, uh, that will just go on the desk with stuff, stuff in it. Yeah. eBay selling storage caddy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have a really fun Halloween section. I didn't even venture over to this side. It's got a bee suit, all sorts of Dia de los Muertos masks. Great hats and shoes here. Whoa, look at these shoes. Danny, they're you, they're you. So we did a thing. We have to get all of this. All of this. Into there somehow. And it's all the way from Newport Beach. And look who we found! It's Jamie, mid-century wasted. Subscribe to her channel. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, yay! <laughs> mid-century wasted. I'll put it on the screen and in the description. And now Danny and Jamie have to do a thing. We're doing the turtle deal. <laughs> the turtle deal. Sounds a little you have to go to Danny's channel, the niche lady, to see this deal go down. It's not my fault. I didn't do it. You were going to sing for me. You, oh, looks like we made it. I am, once again, entirely impressed with my Honda Odyssey. I should be an ad for Honda Odyssey. With the help of my parents, we, um, other than those which my parents have offered very kindly to bring for us, I don't know. Actually, I make you some. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> oh no! We almost lost them in the store. The lady said that somebody else had them in their cart, and she had to finagle them with some sort of uh, excuse that they were already sold. They are actually chimeneas. They have the hole in there for um, a light or whatever you do with the chimenea. 
but perfect, they're amazing. Perfect outside our house, I think. That being said, we fit everything <laughs> in the Odyssey. Ta da! And according to Danny, we still have room, maybe, for one more stop. See? Don't do that. Let's You're crazy. Ride. You're Let's crazy. Go. This is me putting my life in your hands, you know. I'm a little scared. We're grown women and you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Corona and we have just a smidgy bit of space left in the car that we have to fill. So we've stopped at Corona Salvation Army and um, no big purchases. Okay. okay. We're going to be, oh, eBay. We're going to be super selective. We can just fit a few small items in. Let's go in and see what they have. Let's, Let's go, go thrifting! thrifting. <laughs> Here we are at Salvation Army. It looks like a really quite big one, but it's going to be a power shop because we have to get on the road before it gets too late. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh. Orange tags are 50% off. Wow. these beautiful glasses they're like a red set there's three they possibly broke the fourth one that's why it's not here it doesn't hurt to look Bo you never know it might be on another one of these shelves somewhere in the store they have a lot of clear glass. Oh, look at this gorgeous cake stand. It's like a light amber and etched, but it's got a massive chip on the side. That's so sad. Lots and lots of glass bowls and pedestal stands and vases, cruets. It's one of those fun little uh, cactus margarita glasses. You have to have a set of those though. I'm hoping that red and clear glass will just pop up somewhere. These are pretty too. I've got something similar to these down at the booth. I'll have to wait till those sell though before I get anything that similar. Now as I say we haven't got much time so I'm going to do a power shop around all these shelves and see if there's anything fun we can find. It has to be small, but fun. Here's a cupless saucer. Some shot glasses, spoon rests. Little serving dish. Looks like asparagus, but the stem's broken. Little flash glass ashtray. Guy has a broken ear, sadly. Quite interesting candle holder. Ooh, but they want $7.99. That doesn't work for me for resale. I'm gonna pop it in the cart though, just to look it up out of interest to see who the maker is and what it's worth. There is another one over here, so I'll grab that one too, just in case. But my instinct tells me that $7.99 isn't going to work for me. I feel like this pair would probably sell for 25, possibly 30. Hmm. 
Let's see. So laugh bars, that's nice. It's not gonna make me twenty dollars though. That's chipped. Canisters, plates, serving dishes. It's a wannabe Talavera pottery pitcher, but it's very, very lightweight. This is Avon, their grandfather clock. It's a fun piece. I'm going to pop this in the cart and see what this sells for. Sometimes Avon, Avon pieces surprise me. Let's go around the other side. Oh, look at this. This is a Wells Fargo Year of the Snake Bank. I've sold one of these before. He's in great condition. He doesn't have a price. So I'm gonna pop him in the cart. Hmm. I'm gonna look this up too. It's interesting. I'm gonna pop my snake in the cart so I don't forget him. And uh I'm going to take a little pause and look up my jug and my grandfather clock and my candlesticks. Nice little surf dish. Not great resale value again. Cups and mugs. Collector plates don't do well on eBay, unfortunately. There's so many of them. Little purple vase there. This clock on a, a glass tile. $3. Again, probably not going to bring me my $20 profit. I'll leave it. This is a Maxera piece. It's a planter with grapes on it. It's $2.99. That's a good find. Maxera is a popular brand on eBay. Pieces sell very well. So I tend to always pick them up if they're in good condition. A little, is it a trinket box? Deviled egg plate. Let's go around the other side here. Lots of angels over here. Little bars. This girl looks like she's Delft Blue. Oh, she's a bank. She's missing her stopper though. Uh, so that really compromises her value. I'm going to pop her in the cart and look her up. But uh, probably won't end up with her. It's a cute little rabbit trinket dish, but it's $4.99. See if I can peel that. Is it Grace's Teaware? I think it's Grace's Teaware. Some of the pieces um, in this brand sell well. Probably not this one. And he's got a chip on his ear, so I'm going to leave him. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Daddy thought this was my cart, not my cart. I thought you were being good. <laughs> I'm seeing here this uh, Los Angeles Potteries cracker dish, which is really fun. I love the crackers on it and the knife. 
let's have a look there it is Los Angeles Potteries it's number 49 it's 2.99 but I just noticed a ship oh no that's so sad <sighs> these are Lefton sugar and a creamer they want 9.99 for these and sadly they're only worth about 12 to 15 dollars this is a piece of real coral it's very pretty i do have several pieces of this at home so i'm going to leave that one for somebody else this on the other hand is a trivet it's a sur la table trivet sotto pentola which sounds very fancy but it's actually just italian for trivet but i really like it i really like the vintage look of it i'm gonna take it have a look at this mug it looks like anthropology but it's not Making sure I haven't missed anything over here. He's fun. <laughs> A little scary, but fun. It's coming around this side here, and I'm noticing another Max Sarah piece. This is Poppy's. Isn't that lovely? Doesn't look like it has any chips or cracks. $1.99. It's lovely. If you're in Las Vegas or visiting Vegas, please come see Danny the Niche Lady and me at our vintage market booth within the fantastic indoor swap meet at 1717 South Decatur Boulevard here in Las Vegas. This month, October 2021, we packed up our entire booth contents and moved them across the way into a new booth location within the fantastic indoor swap meet. Every single piece was carefully wrapped and boxed, stacked up and moved over as you can see, it was no small task. So here's our new space. We've got three beers in a row. We have to have the overheads put up so we can hang stuff like Sue's is over here. Ours isn't done yet. But walk with me back to the old booth and I can show you exactly what we have to move. Everybody's moving. Here is our booth all packed up. Oh my goodness, the movers are on their way to do the furniture for us. And then we will be moving all the boxes and uh, getting our display back to amazing. Here on my table is everything that I found at Goodwill and Salvation Army. Bandit is back. I don't know that he liked having Ziggy be the star of the show last time. <laughs> Bandit. He's quite sleepy today. It's very cold and windy here in Vegas. And he's a bit tired. First we have 
this gorgeous piece of Viking glass. I believe the color is blue neek. It was $3.99. Absolutely stunning. I value this somewhere between $30 and $50. This is a very unique and lovely piece of pottery. I just really enjoy the colors, the brown with the peachy color. It's a really high gloss glaze. There's uh, initials on the bottom. I believe it's HW. So I think it's a very, very nicely done project. I really like how the top looks like it's just ripped open. It's a lovely round shape, very uniform. As I say, just nicely done. I paid $4.99 for it and I value it about $35 to $40. This is a Target mirror. It's brand new. Let's see if I can show you the tag here. Where is the tag? Christian Robinson for Target. And online, these are sold out, and I value it about $50. It was green tag half off, so I paid $11.50. This is a little Watch and Pray Serenity plaque. It's in nice condition. I paid a dollar for it and I value this 15 to $20. Usually these hands are brass and they're nailed on. I'm not really sure what those are made of, possibly a light metal. I've started to always pick up these Emoji happy face planters now. This is a florist's piece. It was $3.99 and Yvonne Thrifty Rich always picks these up too and they really do sell well. I value this one about $20. This is a piece of Reuven glass. Very unique, beautiful process where the high firing temperature causes the paint to sort of bubble and drip down the glass with this lovely effect. This bottle does have a stopper, but unfortunately it is cracked. However, it would be a lovely vase without the stopper. I paid $2.99 for it and I value it between $35 and $40 because the maker is Reuven. I found these two little, I believe they're originally candle holders that go in a uh, wire frame. But since Danny, the niche lady, is making a mushroom garden, out of different ceramic stems, glass stems. I thought these would be perfect little toadstool caps to add to her garden. They were $2.99 and those will go to Danny. This is a ceramic sugar skull. It's painted in a Talavera style and I'm just Looking at it now, wondering if by any chance that yellow flower on the back will glow. Got my black light over here somewhere. Let's try to see if it lights up. No, I don't think it does. 
my mom found this. It was, I believe, five ninety nine. It's very fun, nicely painted with those birds on the back. I value it twenty to twenty five dollars. This was my prize find of the day. Gorgeous piece of uranium glass. You can see that this does light up beautifully. It's got peacocks on it, which is a bonus. Lovely pedestal cake stand. I paid, did I pay $3.99 for this? No, $6.99. I paid up a bit, $6.99. And this will go down at our vintage market booth under a black light and probably sell for about $75. This gorgeous piece is an antique English vegetable serving dish. It's made by J&G Meakin, Hanley, England. It was $4.99. And I value this between $50 and $60. This is a lovely little shell abalone inlaid gift box. The abalone is lovely. It's really rainbow colored in the light. And the shell on the top is actually a real shell. If I can gently open the box. With one hand, I can show you. Here we go. Actually put the whole shell in there and built the box around it. Thought that was really unique. I paid $1.99 for it. And I value it at $15 to $20. I loved this Talavera plate. And I was very, very sad that I couldn't find the matching cup. It's obviously a, a saucer with a with a rim for a either a coffee cup or tea cup. I'm leaning towards coffee because of the size of it. It is signed on the back, El Palomar, Mexico. I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. And without the cup, I'm not sure of the value, possibly about $20. This is an EO Brody crinkle green vase. I really love this pattern, as most of you know. It was $4.99. They're not that valuable, just about $20. But because I'm so fond of these and the pattern, I hate to see them go to the landfill. I'm not really sure of the age or origin of this. It is a gold crinkle ceramic bag. It does have some damage. It has a crack inside. And unfortunately, what's, what looks like a quite a recent chip on the corner. But it appears to be vintage. It's not signed anywhere. I even lifted the sticker to see. But it does appear to be vintage. It's really fun, especially for Halloween or fall. It was $2.99. Don't know that I would be comfortable shipping it with that crack. The weakness would mean that it would come apart very easily so I might take it down to the booth and sell it there for about $25. I love this Avon bottle. It's an amber glass. I believe it originally had bath oil in it. Don't usually pick up um, Avon but I really like the lines of this and the fact that it has its stopper intact it could be used for salad dressing 
or bath oil. It's just very mid-century looking. And I really liked it. It was $4.99. Probably worth between $15 and $20. How about this skeleton candy ball? Three skeleton legs. Hold up this bowl. You can pop it outside your door with some candy in it for trick-or-treaters at Halloween. Or you can pop a plant in it. It does have a little chippy damage in there but to me that's not a big deal I'm thinking about using that at our new house for Halloween these were really fun these are a winter summer salt and pepper shaker set you put your salt in with the Christmas tree so it looks like snow and your pepper goes in with the cactus to look like sand. Those are really fun. They're brand new. I paid $3.99 for them. And I value them $20 to $25. This is a vintage trivet made by Sir Latab. It's a bougie high-end kitchen store. I know they're in California. I'm not really sure where else they are this is made in Italy it has an antique finish really nice really fun it has a tiny bit of damage there but I think it adds to its charm I expect to get 25 to 30 dollars for that this is a Pier 1 Sunflower Chip and Dip set. Not really a set. Chip and Dip plate. I love the colours for fall. It was $5.99. You can see the Pier 1 tag there. It is called Sunflower. I value that about $25. It's always good to pick up or look up Pier 1 pieces that you find because Pier 1 stores are no longer open and their pieces are only available online. A lot of times people are looking to either complete a set or replace a broken piece and they do sell really well. This is a Wells Fargo snake bank. It commemorates the year of the snake. There's the Wells Fargo uh, brand on the bottom, complete with stopper. I value him 15 to $20. I always like to pick up these little Asian soup spoons when I find them there. An easy sell, they're fun to use. This one's not marked, but I love the gold gilt on it. It's only 99 cents, and I value it about 12 to 15 dollars. These last two pieces are by Max Serra, which is a brand that always sells well for me. This first one is a planter, it has grapes on it. There's the Max Serra brand name on the bottom. It was $2.99 and I value this $20 to $25. And the second piece is a really pretty poppy design. It's called Poppy Splatter. I just love the movement in those poppies and the fact that the plate is square. There's the Maxera mark. It was $1.99. And I value this at $15. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the haul. If you see anything you're interested in, please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com and we'll see you next time. Bye!